Oh my goodness. Today we are making my banana strawberry smoothie for breakfast. I figured I'd come on here before I made it and just showed you what I do real quick. Our very, very ripe banana. <laughs> So first things first, we're gonna open up the items. And then, oh yeah, I have a spoon for my yogurt. So first, I put ahead and rinsed it out. So here we are, I'm gonna put Let me see, how much is that? Two cups. Two cups, two cups, cause I'm a hungry chick, okay? Boss chick. So two cups of my strawberry with this full banana. So I put my strawberries in first. And then because it's brown, it's gonna open up weird. It's so easy to open. Like so, so easy. I'm gonna open that up. We're gonna tear it. And just, you know, super soft because of the brown parts on it. I guess this is called ripe, maybe? I don't know. It's extra ripe. And that's how I love my bananas is extra. And after I put in my bananas, one banana I put in. And I always mix this up. I don't know why I have that part on there. I always get dirty with this. I mix it up because for some reason yogurt always has condensation on top of it, like all the watery part. So I take one big scoop, two big scoops, and three big scoops. Flying everywhere there, buddy. Oh, here we are today, making my breakfast yogurt. And then with this, I'm gonna show you how much I put of almond milk. I put one cup and two thirds of milk. Okay, I'll admit that was a little too much. Maybe I shouldn't put that much milk in. And this one, I'm not gonna measure the chocolate, but what I am gonna say is I put, as, I'll say put as much chocolate in it as you feel you need. I personally need a lot there that's one good squeeze i hope that's enough because it's gonna be the day place the cap on really tight and good plug it up and we're gonna pick smoothie great blend for 45 seconds and you will get the best smoothie ever Hey, beautiful people. I just got in my seasoning sent to me from Texas, from Uncle Jay Way. And I'm going to use it on my dinner that I make for my son, who is high-functioning autistic. Um, he's like 90% high-functioning autism and 10% and ADHD. So with that comes a special palate. So he only eats things like this is... Beef chuck boneless country ribs. We don't really eat a lot of pork because it can raise your blood pressure. It's not for no religion, religious reason or anything. 
But anyways, this is what Uncle Jay Way from Texas sent me, you guys. I got to show you. Slap your mama. Slap your mama. Oh, my gosh. Cajun seasoning. It says Via Platt, Louisiana. Look at that. Thank you, Uncle Jay Way. And then we got Tex Joy, Paprika. We got we got garlic powder. Oh my goodness. Red pepper. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use this because I've never really used red pepper. But I know that it could be good in chili. So I'm excited. Yeah, steak seasoning. That is what's popping. Let's see here. Wow, this is pretty awesome. I'm loving this. Onion powder. Who cannot do onion powder, you guys? Oh my gosh. And barbecue seasoning rub. <laughs> Uncle Jay Way, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really needed this. Because my counters are bare with good old southern, you know, seasoning. And plus, I'm from Iowa. We don't have Tex Joy. And we don't have Slap Ya Mama. I'm excited. Cajun seasoning. But see, I see peppers there. So, for this one, because my son is, you know, he might not eat it if I put it, if it's too hot. I'm going to use garlic powder. Onion powder. And we're going to use a little steak powder. So that's what we're using for the steaks. So now, I'm going to be honest, we do clean this out every time we use it. Um, my sister has a bag that she puts in here for crock pot stuff. I don't. It goes straight in the pan. So right now, I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to move that over here. I'm going to clean off my beef ribs. And I use this to keep it from dripping on my on my stuff. So I'm going to maneuver this around. Mmm, that smells so good. Doing the garlic powder. A little sprinkle. There's no such thing as a little sprinkle when you got these big holes. <laughs> and now we're going to do the seasoning. So we're not going to put a lot on there because, you know, I have young black men and I'm trying to make sure that when they get older, they don't have high blood pressure or diabetes or anything. So we're gonna flip this over. Which is, it sounds crazy, but this is what I do. I take it and I just rub it on the other parts. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I use this for a thumbnail, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. All right, so here we are getting ready to make the Sudanese salad. I wash the salad. This is my oil. What I do is I put oil in it. There it is, that little bit. So instead of putting onions in it, like most people do, I put uh, I put onion powder. Again, from Text Joy. Yes. I mix this up. I'm not a brown spot person. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So here we are mixing it up. Now we're gonna put some more seasoning in it, but we're not gonna put any that I've washed off. Nice that I've washed off. Well, that one's pretty big too. Whatever. My son will eat it and be happy. Alright, so 
Now that we've got the cucumbers, now we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Open up your craft. If you're gonna have a bunch of ranch in it. So then I mix the ranch up within the salad, if that makes any sense. Half triple shatter. I'm pouring it in here. Okay, just a tiny bit. See that little bit? Because since I don't eat a lot of salt. Oh, what? Is this one not the open one? Whew, that's got a lot of herbs. And this one we can use freely. I'm gonna just see it before I stir it in. It looks crazy on here. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Looky here, looky here. All right. So we are about to cook. You see how deep the pot is? We are about to cook my mother's recipe of macaroni and cheese. Here's my olive oil again. I'm just gonna drop a little bit in there. Justin. We're gonna boil it on six. That's the first box. Our second box, we're gonna turn this down to five, to medium. This is my trusty thing. I make eggs with this. I have to show you guys how I make my eggs too like my breakfast eggs for the kids. But anyway, so the instructions for the noodles say about 11 to 12 minutes. So we're gonna do this for 11 to 12 minutes on the clock. It's messed up because I've never redone it from the direct old storm that we had. It says 12.55, so that would be um, 1.07, 108 on the clock there. I says stir occasionally. is the finished meat you may not like it but my sons love it which is cray cray but not really cray cray like i take it oh it's still a little hot mm, it's perfect so now we're going to transfer this and so here we are transferring to a strainer We're gonna take this, we're gonna pour it in here. Let's go over here. Not very much sure how much this is like my mama's, but here we go. So my mom, she takes a stick of butter and she puts it all in here. And then she mixes it around. Well, she puts it in there so that it can melt. So we're gonna put some more stuff in here. Let's get that in there. Put that right here. Right here. Put that on top of that one. So here we are melting the butter. Perfecto. It's getting it melted, good and melted, so we can mix it around. I could have microwaved it, but this is not what my mom does. And actually, one moment while I call my mom to ask her a question.
We're about ready to make a plate. Let me plate it up for you. Let me plate it up for you guys.